Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate one of Chris Rainiac's pieces of artwork in cake. So this one I did for a Facebook Live last week, but I printed off one of Chris's pictures and I drew, or I cut out three rough, roughly rounded cakes for this one and we stack them all together. I'm just looking at the image that I've printed off as reference so that I can carve around the edges, just taking off that sharp edge and making them a little bit more rounded. And guys, if you wanted to do these in cupcakes as well, you could probably do these in cupcakes quite nicely. So I'm going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. So still using my little print off for reference. If you prefer, you could do a print off and then cut it out and use it as an actual template to cut round for your cakes. And I've gone with kind of a, it's a slightly turquoisey, bluey green, isn't it, for the buttercream. I thought it was kind of wintry. It went more green than I planned. I'm just going to cover it in white fondant. I'll put links below to everything that I use, uh, materials and equipment wise, so you guys can see what it is I use. So I'm just pushing in between all the gaps with my fingers and the Dresden tool. Apologies, I do put my head in shot quite a bit today. So still looking at my picture for guidance. Now, if you don't follow Chris already, I would highly recommend going over and having a look at his Instagram page. He does some lovely pieces of work. I've bought a few pieces for my wall at home. So we're starting with the facial features. So we're going to push in anything that needs to be indented into the fondant first because once my fondant has dried, it will crack when I try to put in these marks and lines. So a balling tool for the eye marks. And then I'm just using my Dresden tool to create the mouth shape. Now you don't need to hold your hands like this. I was just very <laughs> conscious that because I'd chosen something white, it doesn't show very well on camera. And I thought if I put my hand around it, it might shadow it and you'd be able to see the lines a little bit better. So eye marks in again for the second one down. I used the end of the rolling pin to create like bigger marks for the eyes and a little mouse with the bottom end of my balling tool. Let's do the same for the bigger one. So using the end of my rolling pin again, I'm gonna go slightly bigger than those eye holes, giving it its little crow's feet and the lines for the mouth. So just looking at that image again, and I'm using the end of my Dresden to press in so we get a nice clear line for the mouth. So we're gonna draw in any wrinkles. And I'm just gonna dust it up with some edible colors. So usually I use the loose powders today. I thought I'd use my Petal Crafts palette Again, these are edible powders that you can use on cakes and things, so you're fine to use these. Please don't just pick up a makeup palette and just use makeup though. Okay, these are different. So anywhere that I want to be a little bit more shaded, a little bit darker in colour, I'm adding a bit of the blue to, just with a soft, dry brush. Go for a smaller brush in any tighter little spaces. I'm going for a slightly darker blue there around the mouth. And you can put this shading around the edge of the eyes as well. So the little dots are kind of patterning that you would get on little creatures. So you're going to repeat the same on the other two as well. Just adding a bit of sparkle. I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but this was like a sparkling silver, no, a sparkling white edible dust that we put on there. I just thought it made it look a bit more kind of snowy, a bit more wintry. A little piece of black in the mouth. Tiny bit of pale pink for the tongue and a tiny semicircle of white for a tooth. So put the eyes in the other ones as well. So just some black, just pushed into those little sort of indentations we made earlier for the eyes. And I'm gonna use some white powder to just lighten up the eye in that bottom corner on each one. It's just gonna stop the eye looking so flat with color. Like it looks like it's got a bit more shading about it. And then a tiny little sausage of white fondant curved into each eye and then a little ball of white fondant just near the edge, bottom edge of each of those ones that we've just put in. And when I do the eyes on the other two, I do it in exactly the same way. Give him these little dots. And you can add teeth as well. Again, I'm going by the picture that Chris has drawn. And you might have seen me do some of Chris's work before in previous YouTube tutorials. So I made a little, little swamp thing one before. I don't know if it's called Swamp, swamp Thing, actually. I can't remember the name of the <laughs> picture. I'll see if I can put a link up for you for that as well. So we're just filling in the eyes in the same way we did for that other one. So we're going to cover the board. I've got pale blue fondant. We've rolled a long strip of it, and we're going to try and push it around the shape. So the shape's a little bit awkward. You might have to cut tiny bits off and a little bit of pushing and shoving around with your fingers. I'm not too worried if it doesn't quite come to the very bottom of my board, because we can put a bit of snow there cover up that bit of a gap. Just trim off any extra from all the way around the outside edge of your board. 
careful not to chop the silver off the board itself and then I'm just going to use a bit of white down there there we go just to cover that bottom bit again we can trim any extra off and I've rolled my fondant really thin and I'm just going to cut out some snowflakes I'm just going to use a plunger cut for this because it's nice and easy just stick them on the blue bit of the board now I've got a disc of black I've actually swapped to modeling paste for this and it's going to be the brim of the top hat so we're going to stick it on the head of the top one and curve it up a bit at the edges then let's make the top hat itself so a little cylinder it's going to be too long so let's trim a bit off we'll just shorten it a little bit we'll stick it in place and I'm going to roll a thin piece of white to go around the end of the hat like that then going to add the eyes in the last one the same way as we did with the other ones so for the little feet, we're going to do little ovals and we're going to stick some little toes on the end. So some little balls on the end of the toes. Just put in a little mark for the ball of the foot first. Put three toes on each. And guys, if you do want to see the slower version where I'm doing it in real time, that's still available to watch over on my Facebook page. So we do a Facebook Live every Tuesday morning at 10.30am UK time. And that's where you can watch me do it sort of live live in person and you'll see how long it actually kind of takes me to do it when it's normal speed. So we're doing the arms so it's just like a little sausage and I've just pressed into the end to make the end sort of stick out a bit more for the fingers and then a little ball for an extra finger if you need it or you can just press indentations in for the fingers and some little wrinkles on the arms and you're just going to do the same on the others for the arms and the feet but we're going to add these little like whisker bits so this is just an edible pen that I'm using and I'm just drawing them onto the board itself for this. So I've got a bit of modelling paste, it's nice and firm and I'm going to roll two, two long thin shapes and we're going to put some cuts in the end to create more of a kind of branch shape. Trim it down to the length that you want it. They're going to stick on our board there but I'm going to do the hands before we stick them down on this one. So the hands on this one I'm actually going to wrap them around the stick and then stick them in place so we're just pressing indentations in with our dresden tool wrap it around the stick and then we push that on in place and we'll do exactly the same for the other one so just repeat the same process for each of like the little monster balls and that's for the hands feet and eyes if you want to thicken up the snow bit underneath it you just add a bit more of your fondant to that and you can repeat on cupcakes if you want. So these ones were just made using the foam domes. So they get a nice rounded shape. And then once they've set, I just put them on top of a cupcake. So just finish off any bits of shading that you want. And then that's it. All done. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget, if you do want to see more of Chris's work, do pop over to his Instagram page um, and have a little look. And if you do use his work, just give him a little mention. I know he likes to see what people have made. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.